Hi guys, today I'm going to show you this magnetic solar backup camera from eRapta, one of the biggest brands when it comes to solar magnetic backup cameras. I've already tested a couple of them and they have been performing really good. So what's the special thing here is the awesome wireless range and this has been always a little bit of a problem with previous models or with the models which I've been testing. So when you have the monitor in the front of the car and putting the camera in the back then sometimes the signal can be unstable, not so clear or even worse you see an old picture and then anything can happen. So this shouldn't be a problem with this one here because we have an awesome wireless range of up to 328 feet. So I'm going to take it out of the box, show you what you get and then how to use it. And of course, I'm going to make a test how far we can really go with the camera to have still a good connection. And so here we have everything what we got in the package. So we get two antennas, we get the suction cup here with this switch here so we can secure it. You can see it really sucks it really in and so we get this mount here for that and this one here to secure the monitor here in the back. This is how it looks here, the connection to the antenna here, the buttons, really large, nice screen. Then we get the power supply for the screen with a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. And here we get a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. This is recommended to give a pre-charge before you mount this outside. Of course, we have the really nice solar panel. But of course, the solar panel is not enough to power it the whole day, especially when you don't have direct sunlight. So it's better to give a pre-charge and then we can extend the runtime with the solar panel like always really solid you can see it's movable but it doesn't move on its own everything is also super heavy sturdy super solid build waterproof we have the on off button we have the camera we have the additional lights for the night then the connection to the antenna here and then charging port with the waterproof lid so after we have charged it inside we can nicely close it comes also with a nice screen protection by the way of course we always have this super strong magnet you can see it's super hard to remove this thing now i have really problems to remove this this is so super strong it's almost impossible to remove it imagine how strong this will stick to your car which has probably even thicker metal and so of course we have to connect here the antenna for the camera and so usually we have it attached like that to the car and then we have the camera a little bit down the solar a little bit up and the antenna also up something like that and we put this thing into a cigarette lighter port yeah one thing i see only now it has even a micro sd card already included i think it's a 64 gigabyte so we can even record whatever is going on that's an awesome thing i never had backup camera with recording option and so let's say the usb c power then goes down into this port it's a little bit difficult to push in now i think it's okay we turn on the power yeah it looks like we have even a button for the power here yeah okay so we have to press here and we have to press here so we have a couple of different power buttons make sure that you have power and this is turned on as well and what's awesome here that we have an additional usb a port you can still charge your phone here and so of course now we have to turn on the camera we push here you can see it's fully charged and so you can see we get instantly or almost instantly the live view and at least as long as we are staying close you can see there's almost zero delay that's very important of course we also have to attach the antenna here for the receiver or for the screen looks like we have different channels looks like we can even add couple of cameras here then we can increase or decrease the brightness so maybe let's test couple of options we have the menu here here for pairing probably new device if you have more cameras 
then let's go to the picture you can see we have a couple of functions to adjust then the flip screen we can have a normal mirror flipped or mirror flipped here also additional modes yeah it looks like we can have the different cameras here in split up to four cameras really nice then also here camera setup yeah i'm not going into detail but you can see you have really a lot of options the system date time language auto dimming and then the line here so you can turn it on these parking lines so i guess the yellow is then on let's go back yeah now you have these lines here i think we can just turn them on and off so we cannot adjust them and we have this play option you can see now what you have been recording it's recording by default all the time at least we see this here so let's try if we can see if we can play something here we have the media yeah we can see there are already a couple of recordings so we can check the date and time and then i guess click here and play this thing here absolutely awesome or then go back again and it automatically goes into the parking mode if we don't do anything for longer time so here we are with the camera and the receiver and everything is looking good uh, it's a little bit mirroring but i can see it very very clear i think it's definitely worse for the camera it's only really mirroring in the camera apart from that the monitor is really good so i'm moving away here a little bit slowly to the back i hope it's focusing i hope you can still see me the monitor and the camera and i think everything is moving yeah we can see the trees are still moving so i'm moving back here i'm pretty far away is about 15 yards or so do we still have a good connection yeah we have good connection yeah, i hope you can still see the camera on the letter box yeah basically the camera is on the curb to the street okay so let's go even further so i'm going inside here do we still have some movement yeah we still have some movement of the trees i don't see any lags it's a little bit difficult to record but you can see the road in the back pretty far away so let's go even further away yeah i'm as far away as ever possible this is i would say more than 30 yards away yeah we can still see the trees moving in the camera maybe i can go across the lot here even yeah let's move even further away Yeah, and we still have connection here. I mean, it's a little bit laggy, but we still have some connection here straight across the lot. Absolutely awesome, total game changer compared to other backup cameras. And you can see I'm inside, I'm inside of the home. I'm not even here in one of the front rooms. I'm totally in the back, very, very far away. I would say at least 30 yards away from the camera camera sits outside close to the street and you can see the picture is nicely moving there are no lags when we take out the micro sd card we can hold it into a micro sd card reader on our pc and then we can see this file structure i think there is nothing here but here we have all the video files you can set the length of the clip in the setting of the camera here we have one minute clips you can see that here how the original quality is by the way yeah i turn this thing down here there is no audio it will record something but there is no real audio no real sound so it doesn't have a microphone or so but here you can see live image quality from this camera this is how i've been recording this test here and after that i've been moving back here and then i went all the way back to the gate and after that i went from the gate even to the fence in the back of the home so i guess in this part of the video you can see me then disappearing still live connection and i even had live connection in the other 
Corner of the Lot, which is really super far away. By the way, what I noticed is that the monitor is really good. You can see that from all the sides and it's super bright outside. I mean, the camera had a little bit of problems. Cameras have always a little bit of problems recording a screen. But for me outside, it was perfectly visible. So that's also one of the absolutely awesome things that we have. Uh, great brightness, really sharp, everything good, high dynamic range. You can see the parts here, even in the shade of the home, still very good, visible, total game changer regarding connection. This is how it should be. And so from my side, full recommendation. And so if you're interested, I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time